Hey everybody, it's a beautiful day out here in Parker, Colorado. We're doing a multi-port system. Just kind of want to show you uh, our progress that we've been doing today. Um, we have uh, ran our line set hide. We pre-painted pre most of it. However, some of the, the paint needs to get touched up, but you can kind of see this product right here. We're just doing the controls right now. So, uh, this is our line sets. You can see how they look. You know, um, we're gonna end up be pulling these all the way up to the caps right there. But this piece actually gets covered anyway inside the housing of the cabinet. There's a small opening here. But um, we got our 240 volts, 220 wired in here already. Um, there was a pre-existing disconnect. This is gonna get strapped up. We have some, some straps for that, so. I'll show you what that all looks like, but you know, here's the unit here and um, you can see the line set hide going up right there. Um, that's basically, uh, you know, how we, we like to do them. We also like to have that end go down so it goes straight into the ports. You can kind of see right here how it all works. Um, uh, you know, and, and another thing that's interesting about this particular unit, I'll just kind of show you right now. I had a, uh, an inquiry regarding, you know, the fact that we have a couple of extra ports, okay? So when you size a mini split, let's say that this is a 42,000 BTU unit. But if we install an 18,000 BTU unit and two 12,000 BTU units, we would be at the full capacity of this unit. So just because there's a couple of extra ports here does not mean that you can install them, okay? Um, you'll over capacity it. So you could do like a 6,000, a 6,000, that would be 12, right? A 6,000 and a 6,000, that would be 24. Then you could put a you know, another 12,000 on here, which would be a 36, you know, or, or even a 15,000 BTU, or you can do an 18, a 12 and a 12, or an 18, a six, a six, a six and a six, but you can't over capacity it. So you have to realize that even though the condenser has these extra ports on there, you still cannot use them if you over capacity the unit. Your indoor unit has to match the capacity on the outdoor unit, okay? A lot of guys don't understand that and they're just like, it's super confusing to them. You also have to keep in mind, there's a 17% performance drop on these machines right out of the box, right out of the box. Depending on your altitude, if you're not at sea level, you can use more of your performance, okay? But you know, even though this may be a 42,000 BTU unit, you're gonna lose 17% of that. So you really gotta be careful. Sometimes you have to oversize your units a little bit depending on what indoor units you're using so that even after you lose your performance drop, if you're at altitude, like we are out here in Denver, um, to accommodate that sizing drop, it will really affect the way your machine works. So. Keep in mind, you know, exactly how you do it. You know, um, when you size the outdoor unit to the indoor unit, you can't have more indoor units than the size of the outdoor unit, if that makes sense, okay? Um, again, always do your best, do your best work, make things look good. You know, I mean, there's a lot of, lot of sloppy installs out there, you guys. You know, I see them all the time and, you know, we, we, don't, we don't got time to run around and fix everybody's work. You know, we do though, we'll go around and fix some guy's work, but at the end of the day, I mean, we can only do so much. There's probably 80% of mini splits that get installed or done in, incorrectly one way or the other. Um, one other thing, if you install these machines, you have enough refrigerant in them for a hundred feet. If you surpass the hundred feet, you need to know what that is because then you need to do a DSB then you need to add, not subtract. You don't ever take gas out of a mini split. If your line sets total or less, less than 100 feet, you do not alter the refrigerant. You leave it factory charged when you release the refrigerant, okay? You do not add or remove refrigerant just because of uh, you think 
you think, okay? You think you're wrong. Do a DSB. It will tell you exactly down to the pound and ounce how much refrigerant you need to put in your unit. So when we're done with this one, we ran two 50 foot line sets already. So that's at 100 feet. And then we had a third one. So we know we're over 100 foot of line set on this total unit. So we're gonna have to do a quick DSB and find out exactly how much refrigerant we need to put in here, okay? So uh, anyway, just wanted to let you know. Um, hey, Red Bull, we're, we're looking for some sponsorship. We could be drinking one of your guys' drinks right now or, you know, McDonald's, Burger King, whichever, who, who wants to be our guy? We're looking for some sponsors. Hilti, we like drill bits. We screw stuff in, you know, screw company. Hey, ProFit. We like your guys' little quick connectors when we need to use them. I feel like they're great in a, you know, in a um, tight little spot. Send us some free ones. We like those. We could really, we'll put them to work. We'll even make a video on how we put them in for you, okay? Um, anyway, uh, just kind of wanted to touch base with you again. And I hope that explanation of your ports to sizing is uh, uh, going to make, make an understanding for you when you try to add or not add a unit okay jared with duckless plus you guys have a good day bye